What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English beat. I'm Katya. If you are an idiom lover like me, today's lesson will suit you to a T. The idiom to suit someone to a T means to suit someone perfectly. So are you ready to learn 10 super interesting mind idioms? If so, grab a notebook and a pen to write them down and let's kick off. So the first mind idiom on my list today is peace of mind. Peace of mind. It's a feeling of calm and absence of worry. Such a great feeling. And now two examples. The first one, meditating gives me great peace of mind. Meditating gives me great peace of mind. And one more example, it gives me great peace of mind to know that my brother has a caring and loving wife. It gives me great peace of mind to know that my brother has a caring and loving wife. Now let's move on to our second mind idiom, which is a meeting of minds. A meeting of minds. There is a meeting of minds when people have similar ideas or opinions. And now a few examples. The first one, I didn't expect there would be a meeting of minds, but we hit it off right away. I didn't expect there would be a meeting of minds, but we hit it off right away. And the second example, we had a meeting of minds on the best way to help people in need. We had a meeting of minds on the best way to help people in need. Our idiom number three, scare it out of your mind. Scare it out of your mind. It means to be very scared and to be terrified. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I was scared out of my mind when I was about to dive for the first time. I was scared out of my mind when I was about to dive for the first time. It was in Indonesia, in Gilimeno Island. And one more example, I would be scared out of my mind before doing a parachute jump. I would be scared out of my mind before doing a parachute jump. Let's continue our idiom number four, to have a mind of your own. To have a mind of your own. It means to be very independent and not listen to anyone else's instructions or advice, possibly a little bit stubborn. And it has a slightly negative context. And now two examples. The first one, there is no use trying to talk her out of getting a tattoo. She has a mind of her own and will do it anyway. There is no use trying to talk her out of getting a tattoo. She has a mind of her own and will do it anyway. And the second example, she doesn't like to ask for advice. She's always had a mind of her own. She doesn't like to ask for advice. She's always had a mind of her own. And we can also say a mind of its own with objects that can be controlled by its owner. An example sentence, despite having straightened my hair today, it has a mind of its own. Despite having straightened my hair today, it has a mind of its own. Our idiom number five, to know your own mind. To know your own mind. Unlike the previous idiom, this one has a positive context. And it means that you're sure of your opinions and not easily influenced by others. And now two examples. The first one, at this point in my life, I know my own mind. At this point in my life, I know my own mind. And the second example, I admire her because she's very assertive and knows her own mind. I admire her because she's very assertive and knows her own mind. And guys, before we continue and learn five more mind idioms, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your bell icon is on. Thank you. 
And now let's continue with our lesson. Our mind idiom number six is to have something in mind. To have something in mind. It means to have a plan or intention to do something. And now two examples. The first one, let's do something fun this weekend. What do you have in mind? Let's do something fun this weekend. What do you have in mind? And another example, I like to go to a fancy restaurant for the special celebration. I have something in mind. I like to go to a fancy restaurant for the special celebration. I have something in mind. Number seven, to be in your right mind. To be in your right mind. It means to be rational, reasonable, sane, and behave sensibly. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, you're gonna try windsuit flying. Are you in your right mind? You're gonna try windsuit flying. Are you in your right mind? And the second example, no one in their right mind would continue sleeping after seeing smoke on the floor they live on. No one in their right mind would continue sleeping after seeing smoke on the floor they live on. This example is based on a true story that happened to me a few years ago. It was late and I was already in bed when a policeman ran my door and I remember seeing smoke on my floor. I suppose he was trying to find the source of the smoke. So guess what I did next? I went straight to bed and continued sleeping. I clearly wasn't in my right mind. The following day, I found out what happened. My neighbors went to the cinema and left something on their stove. Luckily, nothing happened, but I was stunned at my reaction. I was too optimistic about the future of the building. And now let's move on to our idiom number eight, to lose your mind. To lose your mind. It means to go crazy and to start behaving in a silly or strange way. And now a few examples. The first one, if this lockdown goes on for much longer, a lot of people are going to lose their minds. If this lockdown goes on for much longer, a lot of people are going to lose their minds. And one more example, when you go through a rough patch for a long time, you may feel like you're losing your mind. When you go through a rough patch for a long time, you may feel like you're losing your mind. Two more to go. Number nine, to have a lot on your mind. To have a lot on your mind. It means to be worried about something. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Elise hasn't been sleeping well lately. She has a lot on her mind. Alice hasn't been sleeping well lately. She has a lot on her mind. And one more example. You look worried and stressed out. I have a lot on my mind. You look worried and stressed out. I have a lot on my mind. And when you have a lot on your mind, the best thing you can do is to take your mind off this thing. So our idiom number 10 is to take your mind off something, which means to stop worrying and thinking about something unpleasant. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, traveling is one of the best ways to take your mind off a breakup. Traveling is one of the best ways to take your mind off a breakup. And the last example, meditation is a great tool to take your mind off daily worries by focusing on your breath. Meditation is a great tool to take your mind off daily worries by focusing on your breath. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and these idioms. If you want to learn more mind idioms, check out the first edition right here. And of course, if you enjoyed this English bit and learned something new, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!